Hey everyone, Morgan here. So tragically, more than half the deaths uh, that happened during Hurricane Laura was due to carbon monoxide poisoning. Now, how was it due to carbon monoxide poisoning? Unfortunately, people get generators and they don't quite understand how to use them. I'm not here to bash anyone. I'm not here to make fun of anyone. I'm certainly not here uh, to do anything other than to educate you on the proper use of generators, carbon monoxide, and then the dangers of carbon monoxide poisoning. Um, so generators should only be used outdoors. They should not be used near any, they should not be used near any windows or doors. Honestly, um, you know, probably a lot of people are using this in their garages, you know, and just having their garage doors open. You never even want to do that. Um, even if you think that that's plenty of ventilation for a generator, it may not be. The exhaust from the generator can kill you literally within minutes, okay? So generally, try not to even use it, you know, in your garage. Um, I always use it outdoors you know, a little, you know, several feet away from your house at least, um, you know, away from the doors and away from the windows, open windows and open doors. Um, and also, if you have to use it outside, and let's say it is raising, raining because these really can't, you know, because these don't run in the rain, you know, they even say right on them, you know, can't be used in the rain, uh, you know, get some sort of cover for them. Uh, make sure that you have some sort of cover or something. Do not wrap a tarp around it, uh, but get some sort of uh, cover that can make sure that it's, um, you know, protected from the rain, um, any sort of little cover, but make sure that you're not uh, covering up the exhaust or anything like that. So um, just think about that ahead of time so that you can still use it, but you're using it safely and properly. Really, you want to use generators when they are outside um, in a well-ventilated area, okay? Uh, using it like inside of your shed, also really not a good idea. You could step inside of your shed, you know, it could be building up inside of your shed. Uh, you could step inside and, you know, you can smell it for a little while and, you know, Carbon monoxide is the, the silent deadly killer. Uh, you want to make sure that all of your carbon monoxide detectors are fully working, okay? Have them everywhere inside of your home. You wanna make sure that they are working. Uh, a lot of people have carbon monoxide detectors, but they never change the batteries or they never check them. Check your carbon monoxide detectors at least every six months. Make sure they're working. There should be like a little test button, something that's telling you that it's working. Uh, our daughters actually uh, accidentally press against ours quite a bit, so we hear that nice shrieking noise all the time. Um, but uh, yeah, make sure that you're checking them at least every six months. Carbon monoxide poisoning doesn't just happen with generators. It can happen with the propane cooking stoves as well. Um, you know, a lot of people take those inside and if there's enough buildup in small spaces, then that can definitely be a silent killer as well. So use those propane cook stoves um, not not the ones that are actually installed in your house, but those portable propane camping cook stoves, anything that uses propane and use it, you know, against a well ventilated area. If you can use it outside, use it outside. Always, always outside. That's the first option. Second option is to use it against a well ventilated window. I mean, right up against that window, use it and then immediately turn it off as soon as you're done, okay? Don't use those types of things for heat. Only use the designated uh, heaters that are supposed supposed to be used indoors is indoors. And even with those, I would be extra cautious and use those against a, some sort of, you know, well ventilated window or something. I mean, just take extreme precaution whenever it comes to propane. If you have some sort of wood stove or fireplace or anything like that, make sure that you are getting um, it checked out and cleaned regularly because that can actually be, uh, you know, put, be a great buildup of smoke and inhalation, and that could actually be a killer as well, especially if it's not venting out properly. So make sure to always check that as well. Uh, check any sort of uh, ventilation or anything that has to do with uh, propane stoves or, or cooktops or anything like that. Make sure that you have that proper ventilation to ventilate uh, out all that. And again, only use these things for cooking. Don't use them excessively for heating or anything like that. And the last thing I wanna talk about is with candles. Candles um, emit 
carbon monoxide, just like, you know, fire. Uh, make sure that you're only lighting one or two and make sure you're only lighting them for a few hours at a time. Um, and try not to light so many of them at a time, you know, like one or two is plenty. And, uh, you know, just make sure that you're lighting them uh, if you are lighting them, make sure that you maybe have a window open or something, um, you know, blow them out every once in a while. And again, just make sure that those carbon monoxide detectors are working properly. Uh, it is the silent killer for a reason. You're breathing it in, breathing it in, breathing it in, all of a sudden you're gone. Okay. Um, and so just take these extra precautions. These are very serious. Do not take this lightly. This is a huge part of preparedness. When it comes to natural disasters, such as hurricanes, people pull out their generators. They pull out their uh, propane cooktops, you know, their alternative cooking methods. They pull out the candles. And these all could be deadly killers if you're not properly prepared and don't have that uh, proper knowledge. So please, um, please take this very seriously. Put it in your calendar to check the batteries every six months and then just be very, very cautious when using these items. Okay? Thank you all so much for watching Conquer Tomorrow by preparing today. Thank you all so much for watching.